alone. In our church, we often feel that discipleship is a very scary word uh, because often it rhymes with difficulty, uh, stern, sacrifice, uh, giving herself. Uh, we remember and we have been told the Jesus words, you know, take your cross and follow me. Uh, or when Jesus sent the disciples uh, and say, don't take any money or change of clothes or even sandals. And with all those stories and all this background, we tend to believe that discipleship is only for special people. Uh, those who are able to leave behind family and possession, uh, it's for uh, the prophets, for the holy individuals who, who will follow Christ and, and, and really dig into it. But it's not for us. That's what we often believe. And Jesus, in the Gospel according to Matthew at the end of chapter 10, try to address this disconnection and try to bring back. In fact, he tries to democratize this idea of discipleship. He said, whoever welcomes you, welcome me. Somehow Jesus undercut this sense of hierarchy that only uh, those in charge, only the great people can do it. No, ordinary people are as good as member of the select club, people with special title. And it's possible for us to be disciple because, and I know you know that, but it's often a question of simple things. In the text, Jesus said, um, Jesus speaks about a, giving a cup of water. Common, something very common, something that I'm sure almost all of us have done. It's in the same way. Uh, we can listen to our friend. Uh, we can give a lift to someone who does not have a car. We can volunteer at school, at the community center. We can make a donation to help education of youth, uh, like in Haiti. We can do a lot of those things. And often, for us in the Western world, it's not a huge sacrifice. Not that many would have to skip a meal, change your job, or have to decide between a, a commitment. It's, it's possible. And we might think it's not a huge deal, but it makes a huge difference for those who receive it, those who are benefiting from this. In fact, discipleship Although discipleship is built of all those gestures that we often do without even thinking about it, to the point that it becomes a way of life, that this seems to be the normal thing to do. And we move progressively to from what can I gain from it if I helping you to a question, how do I want to live my life? What are the values I want to have in my life or give to my children or people who meet me when they look at me? What, what did I want them to see? And once again, it's not a question of correct belief or correct theology, knowing the Bible by art. Often... We church people, we believers are at our best when it's what we do alone or a community, when we forgive, when we welcome and pit people who they are, when, where they are and, and accept who they are, extend generosity. That's where we're the best, like I said, and that's discipleship. And the reward, Jesus speak? Well, basically the reward. The reward is to live in the world that Jesus came to announce. This kingdom of God. 
That does not happen by itself. It happens when we do this. When we change the life of people. When we accept this call to be disciple. To do all those little things without thinking, without wondering. We just do them. In fact, it could be as simple as this. Discipleship could be as simple as this for you, for me, for everyone. And I hope you will be able to witness this, to do this, to inspire others to do this during this time of summer. I'm saying this because that will be my last message for a few weeks. I'm going on holidays and will when I will come back, maybe you notice my shelves are getting emptier, is because I'm moving to another congregation, still in Ottawa, called Emmanuel United Church. So until then, take care of yourself, enjoy summer, and try to find always ways to be disciple of Jesus the Christ. Until then, I remain Stéphane Vermette, the lectionary man, Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.